Okay, so what's going on, guys? Uh, this is Kelvin Banda from Forex Panther Empire. Yeah, so today, I want us to talk about this interesting tool. I'm sure most of you know about it. Uh, it's called Fibonacci. Yeah, so if you have any queries regarding our services, signals, uh, mentorship, you can contact us on this number. We'll get back to you. This number here, which is on the screen, we're always available to answer your queries regarding our services, be it mentorship, uh, signals, if you're looking for trading softwares, they're always available. Just on that number, we'll get back to you. Yeah, so uh, most of the things uh, that are on this channel are mostly talked in depth in the mentorship group. Yeah, mostly talking depth in the mentorship group. So if you are interested in joining our mentorship group, you can contact on that number. So here, um, I want us to talk about Fibonacci. The Fibonacci, it's quite an interesting tool. I've seen that uh, most people don't know how to use this tool. You just drag it at any time. What's important is that, uh, guys, when you want to trade using Fibonacci, you need to establish a trend. Okay, you need to see how the market is trending. Is it moving up or down? Okay. So I'll give an example like here. You can see here what happened. We had prices coming down. And we saw a bounce around this area, then we saw price coming back again this level, which it failed to break this low. So the next thing that we saw, uh, we saw price rallying from this point. Right now, we couldn't establish whether this point or rather this, this was a downtrend or an uptrend. So we could only confirm after we see a proper break of structure, which is around this point here. So this high here, if you see this high here, once this high is taken out, we know that prices are changing direction. So meaning we'll be looking for buying opportunities to a, to a specific uh, level. So if you see here clearly, you would see the price broke through this level. So now where do you buy? Why do you buy? Because I'm sure most people would have wanted to buy at this area here, thinking that it's going to break and retest. But you see what happened? It went down. So now, if you see this, that's where now the Fibonacci comes into place. Because what's important is that uh, we can see that price here has broken this area, which uh, we can see that there are interested buyers uh, to push price further to the upside. Okay. So the next thing that we do is um, after we've established that buyers are willing to buy at a higher price, we're breaking the structural point here, we'll get our Fibonacci tool. So the best advice that I can give you is use your line chart to draw these Fibonacci levels because line charts, they filter out the weak the wicks uh, which come with these candlesticks so that you get uh, the levels at the pinpoint entries. So if you put the line chart, you put there till this high here, okay? If you put this there, you can clearly see that prices actually rejected around these areas here. This is the 61.8 level where we saw a U10 and price continued moving up, you see? So let me put it in the candlestick pattern. So you can clearly see that around all these areas here, you wouldn't have bought because there wasn't any price action. And you see that uh, prices were actually bounced at the key Fibonacci levels, okay? 
So Fibonacci levels, they help us to identify key areas where we can actually buy from or sell from. So if you see here, I've zoomed in so that I show you the kind of price action that you'll see around this area here. So um, the first attempt on price reached this level. Uh, we actually saw engulfing patterns, bull engulfing patterns, showing that there are buyers willing to do us this to buy around this area, which is 61.8. So we saw a bit of rally, but prices continued dipping. Then the next thing we saw a, a morning star, morning star pattern here, see? Morning star. If you don't know about this, you have to study the candlesticks uh, patterns. This is a morning star. We saw price having a bear candle here, then a small bullish candle. And the next thing was a bull candle. Could have entered here, looking at how this level is a high confluence area. So that's the thing. You see, it's around 61.8. And one thing I want to show you guys is this is a bonus tip. You want to make sure that your, your Fibonacci levels are powerful. They must be in line with uh, supply and demand levels or support and resistance levels. In this case, if you look at this area here, well, price reacted to, you can see that it was a demand zone, okay? It was a demand zone here. It was a rally, then a base, and a rally. So if you see here, there's a demand zone which is in line with our Fibonacci level, then we saw price going up. That's it. Could have made some money here. Okay, you have made some money there. That's it. After seeing this candlestick pattern, you entered there, then your first take profit target is around this high here, the first one here. Then you keep on trading until you make money that you are satisfied with. So we've seen here, then the next thing we see that uh, prices here also, they broke above this high. So we know that, when we see this, we know that uh, there are more buyers who are willing to push price further. So how do you enter this trade? You enter on a pullback. So now how do you determine where or to what extent price will pull back to? So now that's when now you use uh, the Fibonacci tool. So in this case, you would get this uh, low here. You see, this is a low that you get and that high. This is just assuming that price from this side, maybe let's say from here, going this side, it hasn't yet happened. So that high and that low. So you get these to determine which areas where price will like you to pull back from. Then you make your entries depending on the price action that has been presented on that level. So you see here, maybe two there. See two there. You will see that this was the 50th level, you see? So price coming here to this 50th level, okay? Price coming to this 50th level, and you saw what happened. What happened next there was actually price uh the candlestick pattern here, an engulfing pattern, a bullish engulfing pattern. Could have entered there, then your first take profit target is this high here. Okay, you're out. Could have entered here at a good price. That's the reason why you use the Fibonacci. So uh we see price coming here, then see a reversal pattern here. If you are looking, you can you know this. This is the head and shoulder. You see? It's the heads and shoulder. This is the reversal pattern. So how do you know? You can see that uh, price came here. You see? The first shoulder here, and this is the head. And the second shoulder came here. See, then we saw price continuing going to the downside. So 
After, after confirming this uh, reversal pattern, you can see that um, prices broke through this neckline here. Okay, that was our neckline there. This is our neckline here. After this reversal confirmation was made, this reversal kind of uh, this reversal pattern here, the heads and shoulders. So, what do you do next? If you want to Make sure that you're, you have reasoning behind the entry. You have seen that this heads and shoulders have been broken in the neckline. The neckline here has been broken. Then you want to enter on a retest. Get your Fibonacci level from this area here, from this high to that low. So that you know exactly where price might retrace from. So if you see here, this is powerful confluence. I've seen that the first thing you've, did, you've uh, put in place is that this is the heads and shoulder. And the next thing you wait for confirmation if price breaks through the neckline. And the neckline has been broken, you wait for a retest, which a retest, you know that price can reverse around this area here on the neckline to retest it or it can go up around this area to continue going down. So the next thing you see price coming to retest the 50th level. Fibonacci 50th level, and you see price came, then we saw this back end rejecting. The next thing we saw this, and so we saw some exhaustions here, which signified that bulls couldn't push price further from this. And the next thing we saw a shift from what? From buyers, then we saw sellers. We would have sold looking at the fact that it is a high confluence area. Yeah, so that's the so that's the thing, guys. That's the thing that I wanted to talk about Fibonacci. So, so guys, just make sure that you watch this video till you get the concept, guys. Okay, these things are very easy to create. So, if you want, if you need further assistance or training regarding uh, mentorship. The number was provided at the beginning of this program. You can contact us on that number. We'll definitely train you to become profitable. Have a blessed day, night or morning, wherever you are. Take care.